Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add opening balances to finance products such as bank accounts, credit cards, and PayPal accounts that you've set up in your Xero account. So after you add a finance product, such as a bank account or a PayPal account or a credit card to Xero, you might actually need to add an opening balance. So how you go about adding the opening balance depends on a few things such as the date from which the finance product existed and how the finance product was originally funded. So the first way that you can do this is through a conversion balance. And you would use this when the finance product existed before you started using zero. So you would use this usually when you convert to zero from another piece of accounting software. The next way is through a transfer money transaction, and that's for a finance product that was open after you started using zero and you transferred money in from another bank account. So that's just a simple bank account transfer. And the third way is via a receive money transaction. And that's also for a finance product that was open after you started using zero. But in this case, it was funded by something like a loan or by the owner of the business injecting their own cash into the actual finance product. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do it via a conversion balance. So we're going to assume that we've started using zero at a certain date, and then the finance product was already being used before that date. So there must be an opening balance that we need to bring in to that finance product on the conversion date. So this is something, like I said before, that you would typically use when you convert to zero from a different piece of accounting software. Okay, so in this demonstration, I'm actually going to use the global version of the demo company. So if you don't know how to get to that, I'll just show you now. You just go to the main menu and then you go to my zero and then just click on change country and choose global. And what you should get is this screen here. So you can see we've got a business bank account there and we've also got a business saving account that doesn't actually have any transactions or any balance in it. So that's why I want to use the global version because it's got this account here that we can use. So I'll just close that other screen and we can get going with the first lesson, which is how you can add the opening balance through a conversion balance. So we're going to assume that this bank account here actually had a balance of $1,000 that we need to bring over when we converted. And as you can see, it doesn't actually have that in there at the moment. So the way to do that is just go to accounting and advanced and then go to conversion balances. And over here, you get a list of all the accounts um, that you can add balances to. And you can see that we don't actually have that account on there at the moment. So you just need to click on this show all accounts. Okay, and there it is there. That's the business saving account. So we're going to add a $1,000 balance into this and it's going to be a debit balance because it's a positive balance in the bank account. If it was overdrawn and it had a negative balance, we would put that in as a credit. And I'll, I'll also just point out that if you need to change your conversion date, or the date at which you want to bring this balance in, you just click on this button here. And then you just go through and pick the month and the year um, that's relevant to you and just have a little read about what date actually becomes your conversion date there. But I'm just going to use what's here already. So we'll just come back, open that up again. And now I'll just put $1,000 in here, like so and then scroll down to the bottom and just click on save. Okay, so now we'll just go back to accounting and bank accounts. Okay, and now we can see down here that this business saving account actually has an opening balance now of $1,000. So that's how you can use your conversion balance there to add the opening balance of a bank account or a PayPal account or any other finance product that you've got that you were using before you actually converted to zero. Okay, so the next way that you can add opening balances to your finance products is via a transfer money transaction. 
So you use this when your finance product was opened after you started using zero. So there was no opening balance for the finance product on the date that you converted to zero. So you don't use conversion balances but you might still need an opening balance for this finance product because you actually transferred money from another bank account or another finance product into this new account that you've opened. So if we come back into zero, I'll just show you how to do that. The first thing we need to do is just get rid of that $1,000 that we've got there. So we'll just go back into advanced and conversion balances. And we'll just make that nil. Okay, and then back to our bank account screen. Okay, so here we are again with our business saving account and it doesn't have any balance in there. So what you can do is you can, you can create a transfer money transaction. So let's just assume that we actually funded this bank account by transferring $1,000 from this bank account. So you can just go into manage account and transfer money. Okay, so you just pick your from account, which is going to be the business bank account. And then we've got the to account, which is our savings account. And then we can just pick a date. So I'll just make that 1st of July. And then we just put the amount in there. So I'll just put 1000 in there again, like so. And then you can give it a reference if you like, but I'll just leave that blank and then click on transfer. Okay, so what we have now is we've got a transaction here in our general ledger um, for the $1,000 um, transfer there. So when you actually do this in real life and you really do transfer the money, the transaction will come through in the bank statement section and then you can go ahead and reconcile it because at the moment it's not reconciled because we've just got the general ledger transaction. So I'll just go back to the bank account screen Okay, so you can see there that that's ready to reconcile, but we've got the thousand dollars there. And then if I go and have a look in the business bank account, you can see here, this is the other side of it here on the 1st of July for $1,000. And just like I said before, for the other account, if you actually do that transaction in real life, it will come through on the bank statement feed there, and then you can reconcile it in this account as well. All right, I'll just go back to the bank account screen just to finish off. Okay, so that's how you do it if you're transferring money from one bank account to another. And the final way to do this is to do it through a receive money transaction. So this is for when the finance product was open after you started using zero, just like in the previous example. So again, there will be no opening balance on the date you actually converted to zero but you still need an opening balance for this finance product because you've funded the account with money somehow. So either through a loan or perhaps through an owner's injection of money. So back over in zero, what we'll do is we'll just get rid of this $1,000 here. So in fact, if we just go in here and we'll just tick that and hit remove and redo. Okay, so now we don't actually have any transactions um, in this account. So we have a statement balance there of nothing. So what we can do is we can do a new transaction and we'll make it a receive money transaction. Okay, and we'll just say that that's from the owner and we'll just make the date 1st of July and we won't bother putting a reference in Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to say that the owner is contributing $1,000. So we'll just put that in as the description, like so. And then we'll just put in one for the quantity and 1,000 for the unit price. So now we just need to choose the general ledger account. So if we just go here and we'll just go through and find our owner's equity account, which will be down in the equity section somewhere. So there we go, owner's share capital. All right, so we'll just not worry about that tax rate. Okay, so now we've got the owner injecting $1,000 of their own money into this account and it's going through their capital account. So we'll just click on save. And we'll just go back to the bank account screen. 
Okay, so now you can see that, that we've got the balance in zero. So we've got the balance in the general ledger of $1,000. And if that actually happens in real life, if the owner goes ahead and transfers $1,000 into this bank account, it will come through the bank feed and then it can be reconciled. And this account will have an opening balance on the 1st of July of $1,000. Okay, so that's the three different ways that you can add opening balances to your finance products in Xero, such as bank accounts and PayPal accounts, etc. depending on when you actually open the finance product and how you actually funded them. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Xero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.